Another video game just came in, and this one just may be a little hazardous to my health. I'll explain after this. Hello everybody, it's me Scott Galaxy for The Layman Video Gamer. Thank you so much for stopping by. As I said, I have a package that just came in today. I know what it is. It's a video game and it's a big one because it's a big part of my childhood gaming years. Yeah, that makes sense. Uh, so I'm going to just open it up and then we'll discuss uh, all that good stuff after I do that. Oh boy, here we go. <laughs> uh, let me get it out of the plastic. Ah, this just brings back so many memories. So, <laughs> it smells interesting. It smells like it smells like the fresh box. This is the Dukes of Hazard, and as you can see by the front of the box here, you're going to use the expansion module number two, the steering wheel, to play this game. And uh, actually, pretty much what you see on the front of this box is what's in the game. Because you also have a rear view mirror. You're also going to try to chase down that car in front of you. So um, whether you're a fan of Dukes of Hazard or not, uh, the video game is actually just a, it's just a driving simulator, really. And I think everybody pretty much enjoyed this. I think the reception was pretty, pretty, pretty good. I mean, I think it was like a 7 out of 10, I think was probably the average on this. But um, you can see here's the back. And uh, there's the General Lee, their car. Uh, let's just open it up, take a look. Uh, game's in really good shape. Sticker looks pretty good. That's nice. This is supposed to be complete in box, so hopefully everything's in there. And it is, so here's your ColecoVision. Uh, what is that, your registration card, warranty registration. And uh, here we go with the manual, is in phenomenal shape. That's really cool. And that's it. So those are, I mean, what else do you need, right? You got your manual, you got your cartridge, and you're ready to go. So, um, this came out in 19, I want to say 1984. And uh, I was just a wee 11 years old at the time. And uh, my brothers would play this, and I would play this all through the night. And uh, it's an amazing little racing game considering it's 1984 so uh we're gonna play this and uh, i'm gonna show exactly what it was like for me to play this back in 1984 and it's probably not gonna be pretty so enjoy <laughs> So this is Dukes of Hazard. It is a racing game that came out in 1984. Like I said, it's a, it's pretty old. It's pretty old. It's been, what is that, 16? Oh boy, that's 36 years ago. Wow. Uh, but it was published by Coleco for, of course, the ColecoVision game console. And you could also play this on your ColecoVision Atom computer as well. And as the name of the game may allude to, it was based on a very popular television series back in the day with that same name, The Dukes of Hazzard. So in this game, if you're not familiar with The Dukes of Hazzard, you're driving the General Lee, which is basically a 1969 Dodge Charger. This thing was a beast. And of course, you're driving through Hazard County. So what is the premise? Well, like every other Dukes of Hazard episode ever made, there's really a very non-complicated <laughs> plot. So Daisy Duke, yes, Daisy Duke, the sexy female character who gave us these 
which only became popular, by the way, after a rap song. Uh, I think it was called Daisy Dukes in, I, it was like the early 90s, if I remember correctly. I just remember this was a very big thing in the mid, in the, in the early to mid 90s, uh, which I have to be, um, I think we could probably all say thank you for that. Thank you. So anyway, back to the story. Daisy Duke has been abducted by Jeremiah Stinge. I think it's Stinge. Makes sense. Stingy. Stingy. Uh, and your goal is to catch him. So what you need to do is you need to pass his blue car, which you'll see here in a little bit, uh, while you're avoiding Boss Hogg. Now, Boss Hogg is the sheriff of Hazard County, and he's always given those Duke boys trouble. Uh, so you're, you're supposed to avoid Boss Hogg at all costs, and you'll see him, you'll pass him, you'll, you'll hear his siren go off, and then he'll be following you. And the reason you'll know he's following you is because you have that wonderful rear view mirror to look back at him, which was a revolutionary thing at the time. Well, at least I thought it was um, as a young child. I'd never seen that before, so it was kind of amazing. So you need to catch the blue car, avoid Boss Hog, and then the only way you ever lose in this game is if you are caught by Boss Hog or you crash. And you're going to probably crash a lot. And the only reason I say that is because you need to drive at a certain speed so that A, you're not caught by Boss Hog, but also you're not going so fast that you're, you're going to run into things. So you need to kind of find that, that middle ground to do it because, you know, there's also like oil slicks and cars that you got to avoid. But you need to go fast enough in order to get over what I think are the coolest features of this game, the jumps. Now, if you've never seen the Dukes of Hazard, Bo and Luke Duke were known to jump broken bridges and conveniently place ramps in the show in order to, well, you know, do what they do in Hazard County. And as you saw in the video game intro, you need to use the ColecoVision expansion module to do this. And to me, there is no other way to play this game. Uh, but it will be difficult because this one is manual shift only. There is no automatic. So the expansion module, you plug into your first controller and then you use the second controller as the shifter. So I, again, I think it's really, really cool. Even though it may seem complicated at first, the actual gameplay in practice is pretty easy. I think you guys will actually love this. I love it. It just kind of adds more realism to the game. So that brings me to the mechanics. So the only gripe that you'll get out of me is really the steering. I mean, there's no sense of center. So you need to feel out what that center is for you on your steering wheel. Um, but otherwise the driving, the shifting, the gas pedal, all of that works the way you would expect it would. So I give this very high praises. I think this is, this is the game, is the steering wheel and the shifting and the gas pedal and it all works really well together. Now, sound-wise, this is uh, also a pretty good game. So, you, you know, you heard the theme song at the very beginning. The sound of the car engines is pretty good. I've heard some really bad ones in the past, um, but this one really hits all the marks, especially for 1984. So, keeping it at 1984, the limitations back in the day, this one actually, I'd say, exceeds anything you would expect from 1984. And then, of course, there's the graphics. It's a simple game, really, but to be able to simulate the scaling in this with a lot of things going on, like the rearview mirror and the odometers and the pixels on the screen, etc., it does a great job, at least, of giving you the feeling of 3D driving. So I definitely give this high marks for that, very high marks for that. And what's interesting about this game really isn't the game itself, it's the development of the game. Because first and foremost, this was only one of five games that utilized this expansion module number two, the steering wheel. And according to one of the game's designers, it actually didn't even turn out the way they wanted it to. They were hoping for something a little bit more, but uh, because they, they took the license for Dukes of Hazard, they were kind of limited in what they could do. But I, you know, it, it's to me, it's really interesting that they expected more out of this game when I feel like it, it really did ex exceed expectations. And to that point, the reception of this game was actually pretty good. It, it ranged anywhere from the seven to ten or eight out of ten area, and it was 
It was praised for the sound and graphics, just like, much like what I just told you. And most just really thought it was a fun, simple race car game. Which it is. So overall, I'd say I, lo I love this game. It's, it's simple. It has high replayability. It's a decent driving game, both graphically uh, and mechanics-wise. And you don't have to be a Dukes of Hazard fan to like this game. You really don't. Uh, at the time, like I said, this was a pretty advanced game. And really, that's what I liked about ColecoVision overall, is that they really tried to push the limits of the hardware. And they gave us some great games. They, of course, gave us some great arcade game ports. And, I mean, and the peripherals were pretty sweet. So if you have a ColecoVision, you need to get Dukes of Hazard. I think this is one that you'll be playing quite a bit if you do uh, pull the trigger on it. So there you have it. That is Dukes of Hazard for ColecoVision. It is one of a kind. I think it's one of five games that was ever utilized by the expansion pack number two, the steering wheel. But uh, it's definitely a good one. I actually really, really enjoy this game. And it just goes to show how far ColecoVision was willing to go for a game and uh, kind of push the limits a little bit, which is why I really love the system. It's, it really is a top three system for me. So let me know what you guys think in the comments below. What do you think of the Dukes of Hazard on ColecoVision? Uh, would you buy it? Did you buy it? Any memories of it? Let me know. And make sure before you go to subscribe and hit that bell to make sure you are notified of every video that I put out. You're the first to know. And we'll see you again next time on another edition of the Lame Video Gamer. I'm Scott Galaxy. We'll see you next time.